hey guys today let's see what is apply map in click and how to use it okay so i have this um, sample data set uh, the very simple one product id and sales so i have sales for each product ids but but we have to know uh, find out what's the corresponding name for these id okay so basically we do look up in excel to get the corresponding name from another uh, table right so let's say i have this dimension where i have all the uh, product names for each id okay so let's assume this is my fact uh, or any table right which i have where i have the id and i want to look up into another table and, and to retrieve the corresponding product names for each ids right so so apply map is similar to lookup so let's quickly <clears throat> see an example so i have this um, library already created let me directly pull the data so we need these two sheets okay so this is my uh, master dimension where i have product names for each of my product id so the first step is to create a mapping table okay not the normal load it is a mapping load so when i we define add this prefix mapping in front of this load it's a mapping uh, table so this table will not be uh, visible in the data model but uh, we can use this mapping load for all our apply map or map substring or or any other rename functions right so let me give a name for this let's say product lookup so this is the name of my mapping table followed by mapping prefix load this okay now this is my actual table let's say sales table now i have product id and sales okay now i want to identify the names of these product ids okay so i should start with apply map function so when you say apply map it says a map name the expression the default mapping okay so let me start with the map name in single quotes map name is nothing but the name of the <coughs> mapping table so it should be this product so product underscore lookup is my mapping table name and this is the field which i am trying to look up okay and i'm going to name this as product name okay so this is the name of the uh, mapping table and this is the field present in this table okay so for which we are going to map the value from this table right so this when we say apply map and it's automatically going to look into this table it's going to do a lookup based on this field and the first very first field what it encounters in this table okay so this order is important it, it it's not going to look into the name rather it's going to look into the first column so this is going to match this with this and going to retrieve the second column which will be assigned as product name okay let me quickly reload this let us confirm the data with the data model viewer so as mentioned earlier this mapping table will not be visible in the data model layer instead you will see only the final table even though the mapping table is not visible still it can be accessed okay either through apply map function or map substring etc so now as you could see uh, we have got all the matching <coughs> product names right for each of the ids and you could see 11 and 12 over here which doesn't have a matching entry see i have 11 and 12 here which there is no matching record here so there is no product name so it it, it assigns the same product id over here okay so we have the flexibility to give a name to this um, value default value okay so let me add a third parameter i can give any value let's say not applicable or not available whatever right so i'm just giving it as a third parameter at the same time uh, i will try we discussed about the column order right we will also uh, 
experiment that as well let's say i am renaming this as product id so now this column name is not different uh, i mean not the same it is different now so apply map should ideally look for the order it should look into the first column it not into the name but to the content right so let's quickly reload we'll verify this and we'll verify this as well <coughs> So, as you could see, apply map still worked fine. We got this table, and you could see these values are replaced with NA, the third parameter, right? So this is how apply maps uh, works, and we can use this for these kind of scenarios where you want to look up a column and get a value. Uh, it could be a country code to get a country name, or or any one-to-one -one mapping, right? So, so where this apply map will be useful. So wherever you want this one-to-one um, -one mapping. So the assumption is whatever mapping table you have, it should have only two fields because it's going to look up in the first and get the second. So it cannot be more than two. So if you have a table with two columns, if you are going to do a lookup and if it is going to be one-to-one -one mapping, then you can very well go for a mapping load because we know the same product can be brought into over here with the help of join also right we can simply join this with this based on the product id we can retrieve product but apply map has got these benefits okay so one it can it has the ability to give a third parameter where not matching values can be given a name uh, second is apply map gives you better performance compared to join okay it consumes less uh, memory and performance is good it's always better to go with apply map if the number of columns are two and if you are interested in only doing a lookup so if the number of columns are more than two and if you want to merge uh, these two tables you want to bring in additional columns then you can go with join if not apply map would be a, a preferred mode okay so hope uh, so far you are clear with the concepts of apply map please do let me know in the comments for any clarifications thanks for watching